step two, selecting and using the collet. Choose the proper collet and place it at a 45 degree angle into the collet chuck. Step three, matching the collet and the clamp nut. After placing the drill collet into the collet chuck, fix a clamp to secure it. Step 4. Operating the adjustment shelf. Before operating the drill, confirm that the size of the drill corresponds to that of the grid mark on the adjustment shelf. After properly setting the correct mark on the grid, put the chuck set into the adjustment shelf. Fasten the chuck set up and turn it clockwise. Place the drill bit to the base and turn it to the right. Turn the chuck set all the way to the right and tighten. Then lightly turn it to the left to loosen. To remove the chuck set, make sure the point angle of the drill is parallel to the slot of the clamping nut. If it is not parallel, please readjust it. Step 5. Grinding application of drill point angle. While the power light is on and the motor rotation is stable, put the chuck set into the grinding shelf. The slot of the clamping nut is fitted with the two pins of the grinding shelf. Put the drill gently into the grinding shelf until it reaches the grinding slip. While grinding, move the drill left and right until the noise stops. Follow the same procedures on the other side. Do not hold the stem of the drill in use, otherwise it will affect the tool's balance. The smallest size of drill is 2 millimeters. The point angle of the drill can be adjusted from 118 degrees to 135 degrees. Step 6. For grinding the center and web of the drill. Put the chuck set into the web thinning. Grind the drill by moving left and right until the noise stops. Then turn it to the other side. Grind the drill in the same way. For the web thinning application, to either insert or remove the drill, be sure the center point of the drill is parallel to the chuck set. If necessary, use a 0.1 millimeter or 0.3 millimeter pad beneath the center of the grinding shelf.